and welcome to another episode of Success Coaching for a Better World. My name is Coach Manny Nowak and I'm excited to be with you today as we talk about selling. There's the website, there's the phone number. If you need an answer or you need to talk to us, call us, check us out on the web. If you put Manny in front of MannyNowak.com, you can send me an email anytime you like. I'm excited today. Of course, I'm usually excited, right? Today we're going to talk about selling tips to move you to outstanding. And this isn't just for salespeople. Please understand, everyone is a salesperson. No matter what you do in the corporation, in the home, in the family, at some time, you have to sell others on what you believe. So we're going to work on that today, and we got 10 tips for you, and then we got a surprise at the end if you want to get in. Okay, number one, get the number. What does that mean? It means understand what the customer has to spend. Stop doodling around. Why would you talk to somebody and try to sell them a $5,000 process when they don't have $5,000, they can't get $5,000. They're not in the market. So let's ask the question, how much do you have budgeted? And I know that this normal answer, right, everybody, the normal answer is, well, I don't know, or I'd rather not say. Then ask the next question, is $5,000 too much? And be careful. What I want you to do is when you ask that question, I want you to look at the face because the face can't hide the answer. Watch the face when you say 5,000 or 50,000 or 5 million, depending on what you're selling. And if the face drops, you'll know that you're way out of ballpark. So add another number in there. But get the number. It's so critical. Number two, when are, sale, when are we going to learn that the basic, biggest process in selling is these things on the side of your face here, called ears, not this thing. We need to learn how to listen. If you listen to the customer and you let the customer talk long enough, they will actually sell themselves. They will actually ask you for the order. Gosh, when are we going to learn that? Listening is so critical. If we were as sales, when we're trying to sell a process, if we would just listen, wow. Number three, and we've talked about this one before, know the objections. If you're selling something, you should have a list of 50 of the most common objections. And I didn't come up with that, it actually came out of guerrilla marketing, but the 50 most common objections and the answers to them. So when somebody asks you something, you know cold what the reply is. When someone comes up with an objection, you don't need to think about it. You already know it. And you spit it out. Does that impress people? I think it does. If somebody asks you a question and you don't know the answer or somebody objects with something and you don't know the answer, you don't look that good. Qualify, qualify, qualify. Stop trying to sell things. Stop going out on appointments. Stop wasting your time. If the person that you're trying to sell to is not a buyer. We're so afraid that this, you know, I got somebody, I got somebody potentially in, I think I can sell this person, but they're not a buyer. We're afraid to ask the question. Get them qualified before you spend too much time, effort, and energy on them. It will save you tremendous amounts of time, and it will also make you a lot more successful. Number five, don't mail. What's the classic thing that salespeople do? I put them on a the phone to sell something. What's the first thing they do? Can I send you something? And what's the, what's the answer that we all, all come up with? Sure, send me whatever you want. Bye. And where does it go when it comes in? In the trash. Bottle under T. That's just what happens. Don't mail things to people. First, you got to qualify them. Second, can I send you an email if you want some? Third, let's go to the website and walk through it or through the blog somewhere. 
Do not send something. First of all, it costs you and your company tremendous amounts of money to send out stuff that goes in the trash can. No, I'm not mailing anything. And in today's world, you can send almost anything via email. Do it. Let's keep going. Yeah, we got multiple pages today, huh? All right. Don't get sucked into this email address at the bottom yet, because we'll get there in a minute. Keep connected. How many times do I have to tell people that once you know somebody, and they could potentially help you, or buy from you, or somehow get related to you and your product, you never lose connectivity. You send them educational emails every once in a while. You send them personal emails. You call them. They come into your queue. They become part of your life. They build a relationship with you. People buy from people they like. I'm out of energy. How many times do we have to say that? In today's world, I can set up an email to go to you on a regular basis and stay connected and let inform you on something. I can come up and send you an email once in a while, just that simple, and it stays connected. I've been connecting with people for years before they call me, and then all of a sudden they call me. Why? Because I stayed connected. They wouldn't have called if I wasn't connected. Number seven, and this one I want to stress, so important. Ask for the order. You should be closing all the time. So many people are they think they're doing a commercial. Or they think they're 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 doing a stage act. And they they talk all about the process and then okay, bye, I gotta go. Are you gonna buy? Ask for the order. Number eight. Know what you're selling. And this doesn't just apply to products. If you're trying to sell me something as a father, if you're trying to sell me something as a child, if you're trying to sell me something as, in an organization, if you're trying to sell me something, you need to know what you're selling me cold. You need to understand it. And in sales, if you don't know your product and you don't know the inside and outside, then you need to be able to find the answers and not go find them later. Find them right now because remember, all the technology is there. If you're sitting down with somebody, know your product and know where to get the answers. I got a smartphone. I can find the answer right now for that person. Not, I'm going to get back to you later. Later may never happen or you may never be able to get a hold of the person. Know what you're selling. Every one of you who sells out there better be spending some time every week and actually every day learning something else about what you're selling. It makes you so powerful. Number nine, I meet so many people who are selling, who don't have the foggiest idea, who haven't studied selling at all. They, people have this concept that selling is just something that's natural. Oh, I know how to sell. I know how to talk. Well, first of all, you don't know how to sell because the first skill you need to learn how to do is listening. And we've been over that again and again. Educate yourself. If you're going to be a salesperson, learn how to sell. Sell. Read. Take some courses. Work with some people. Understand. If you don't take time to get good at what you're doing, it's your craft. And finally, number 10. Customers don't care that much about you. They don't care that much about your product. They don't care that much about where you've been. They don't care what they care about is that the expectations they have get met. And how do they get met? Well, first of all, if you're going to meet the customer's expectations, you got to know what they are. Critical. Critical. Understand the customer's expectations, and you can sell them. Because if you sell to the expectation of the customer, bam, it's a deal. This website, www should be in front of it, sellingsuccesssecrets.com. Go out there, take a look at some. We're going to run through all this. Selling Success Secrets. Come out to the website, sellingsuccesssecrets.com. There's some great stuff coming out there. Wow. How are we doing? 
Are you going to learn this stuff? Learn a couple of these and you will become extremely, extremely powerful. There's the website, the phone number. Call us, email us. Join us every Monday on the success team. Don't forget that process. Check the website out. Everything's out there. Wow. Again, it's been my pleasure to be here today. I hope I've given you something that can make you sell more effectively and be more successful. This is Coach Manny saying, have a great day.